Moshi Moshi my gamers and welcome back to Zelda Zone Zero. Wonder how the search for Bell about industries the machine is going. Ask Bell if there are any updates. Today we're gonna continue doing chapter two. Any messages from Bell about heavy industries? Alright, we'll continue this one. Not yet, but I have to think that they reach out in the next couple of days. Commission from Bell about heavy industries can be trickier than the usual ones. Why don't you take this time to wrestle and make sure you're on top of shape? You take Bell advice and ask for a bit. Sure enough, the next morning. Huh? And got a text message. Hi, I'm Ben from Burrow Honey Industries. The Pearl Drill looking for has been found. It's possible. We'll let you take us to the decks. Hmm. Ben, you're so polite. Hmm, am I? Hmm. It's because I have a habit of using so many employees. I've done told me before. Speaking like this lacks energy. Hmm. But it looks pretty imposing when you. found. Huh? I didn't say that too. I don't mean to found. I'm not sad that you see. Alton took my guts away when he found out. As a result, I'm getting more respect from my subordinates. But I have to get so close to the screen until I know touches it. Until using my phone to be able to read the smart letters. Hmm. You should just do a phone call then. Oh, you're too kind. Then please call back card your convenience. I mean, surely. Okay. So, expel, we're getting ready. Okay, sure. Alright, sis, let's get started. The machine you just received from Bellable Entries, right? Uh, we got some clues about the machine. Quick, let's get to the bottom of it. Alright. Wise, do you want to call Bellabog? I'll dial the number. Buzz, buzz. Hello, can you hear me? This is Faithen. Ah, uh, it's the two Faithens. Uh, how are you? Uh, I'm sorry to trouble you by calling in person. I'll jump straight into the commission details. This time, we'd like to ask your help in retrieving the Mark III in hollow industrial pile driver. The pile driver had been working diligently in the hollow before its disappearance, just like the other two machines. According to Grace, this machine is particularly good at moving across difficult terrain within the hollow, and it's faster than any other machine. That's maybe why it was able to run so deep into the hollow. Sorry to have kept you waiting while we tried to locate it. The good news is, its signal hasn't moved from where we first located it. I'll send you the data we've got. Looks like the pile driver has stopped somewhere. In that case, let's find the nearest hollow entrance before it moves again. Fairy, do you mind? Not at all. Generating root within the target hollow. Root generation complete. Wise. Let's go and get this done. Right. Alright, let's begin with this story quest. Huh? Wait, I got it for free? Touch Did the I? tail and now. What? Time for some hard labor. He was oh yeah, I forgot. He's also one of the free cows you get for free. I just forgot about that. Alright, so now let's get started. Welcome back, Master. We received a new commission from Bed Bigger, the head of the finance of Bionic Industries. The enchantment cutting is in front of the by the client. Although it may not serve an immediate purpose, be careful for sure weapon war. The attachment has been detected. Okay, let's get started. Find the construction pile drive Friday. The name is Friday? I mean. Alright, let's go. Now let's move. Hmm? Whoa. This place feels even more bleak than the last hollow we went to. The ether concentration here is higher, too. Well, it has been a hollow for a long time. It's not just dangerous, it's also close to the old capital. No good will come of staying here too long. Let's just find that pile driver ASAP. The proxy said the pile driver isn't far ahead, so it shouldn't take too long to bring it back. Right? Blind optimism can be dangerous, Anton. After all, the heavy-duty grappler and boring machine we found both experience pretty significant personality changes, and Grace has yet to find the reason behind it. <laughs> so what if it's changed? It's still our own company's smart machinery. How much trouble could it really cause? Let's get going. Yeah, let's go. Now we move. What the president? Located. Proceed with the recovery. It's right there. That's different. Move <laughs> carefully. This guy's dramatic. Let's find a nearby detour. Quietly. No problem, boss. I'll crouch. Yeah, move carefully. Crouch carefully. Going very silently. 
Oh, we found us two. Have we been spotted? No, it's moving. That's what I thought. It's moving. Let's get him. Motherfucker! Get over you! Warning. The target machine's hydraulic impact mechanism is accumulating energy. <coughs> Speculation. It intends to perform a pile drive <coughs> motion against the ground. Please <coughs> clench your teeth while falling to avoid biting off your tongue. What? Why would we do Watch that? Out. You're gonna fall into the fissure! Oh. Mm -hmm. Is everyone alright? Yes, oh, President. All right. We need to figure out a way to get back. Let's call up because why not? Whee! Ooh, that's not coins. Whee! Oh. Enemies. Yes, we're gonna follow some enemies. Let's go and bite them off. With Aton and the others. It's like, hmm. Let's go, my bro, with my driller. All right, let's go. Let's go down. Then, go for that, President. Nice. Let's get down. Woo! I actually want colleague in my team. I mean, not in team, but like a bio kill to this. Okay. Nice. Let's go. Let's go. Let's keep swinging away. Mass president. Nice. Woo. Nice. Go, Ben. You may be big, but I'm bigger and stronger than you. Uh -huh. Don't you try to smash me? You can't smash me. Got that? Out on. And then, President, you go, President. Careful, President. Yeah, I even called you President. That's nice. Yeah, you're going down, bitch. You're going down. Hey, look at that pose, though. That was nice. Alright, we got that done. Okay, we have one out of two, three so far. Now we go up. Where's the machine? Oh, there you are. What up, bitch? D uh, really? What are you doing? Hey! Stop running! Quit running like a bitch! Okay, we got nothing to do. Get over here! Warning. The target machine's hydraulic impact mechanism is accumulating energy. Speculation. It intends to perform a pile driving motion against the ground. Hmm? Did I just repeat myself? You did! Starlight Knights never get hit by the same attack twice. Unfortunately, Master, you are no Starlight Knight. Uh, of course not! <laughs> that old trick again? Cut it out! Okay. You think I'm gonna give up if you push me away again? Save it, Anton. Kill it in person. Hmm. Huh? Oh. Huh. Okay, anyways, there's anyone here we're gonna deal with. And is blocking away. Okay. So, Anton, we got this right? Okay, where are you? Yeah, I'm not supposed to go to you guys. Go, oh, President! Woo! Do you have a Who are more? Where did you catch it? Oh, boy. Alright. Nice! Damn, we're doing it down real deep. You want some do? You get the treatment. I'm gonna keep doing you down real deep. What is it? Then, Ben, did you alt? Nice, Ben. You smash his head away. He's like, I did it. I fuck it up. Yeah, you did. You don't say too far. 
Oh, those are voids. Ooh. Amazing. I'm actually fine. No healing. I did anyways, anyways. I'm just gonna run away again. Are you gonna run away again? What is this saying? Just wait. When I catch you, I'll tear you apart. D okay, um. Let's put it aside. Oh? You finally understand my hobby, sweet pea? Wait, why are you here? Oh, wait, you wait, that's not mine. But we're playing as those details. Okay, we got it. Abandoned building complex detected ahead. Confirmed. There is nowhere for it to go. Fuck yeah! Hi, bitch! Wait. Oh, hey, 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 look, look, look! I'm about to say, where's the other one? Oh, it went in circles. <laughs> yeah, it went in circles. Master, the target construction machine has been successfully surrounded. Fuck Can yeah! broadcast some trash talk to insult please? Choose a style. Vicious, nasty, or twisted. I can also alternate between 18 known languages. Uh, okay. Before I manage to clone the final loss in the Hollow Energy Machine, in the Hollow Energy Power Driver Half Friday, although the mostly thanks to his own panics, perhaps a chunk of the surrounding train. What do we think? Just grab it. Just grab the goddamn thing! Okay, let's go. We're going to. F um, I mean, it does a cussing, right? Found it! Just trying to make a hole. Hollow Industrial Pile Driver Type 3. Friday! It's seen us. I wonder what personality this one's gonna have. No worries. We already convinced two problem children. It's time to hear what this guy has to say. It's charging at us without even a word? It, uh, it's running? What are you all waiting for? Go after it! <laughs> yep, yes, President. Finally. Are we just chasing it? We cut it off. It's gonna move around too while we're doing this. So yeah, we're gonna fist it down more than once. Oh god, I'm strong! Okay, this is gonna hit. No, uh. Fight back! Come on! Ooh. That does some heavy death on you! Then Ben, and then President, and then Bamboo. Oh my God, he is stunned, will heavy. Damn this music. Getting his ass, by the way. Where the fuck he go? Oh, he just jumped. I'm still standing. Ouch! Careful! Leave it to me! Nice, Ben! And I'll taunt! And then Bamboo! And there you go, President! Almost killed it. Yep, that's where he ends. There you go. Give up, Friday. This is the end for you. <laughs> this guy's been completely silent this whole time. Maybe his language module is broken. I don't way, know. They can obviously understand us. Do you? Okay. I know you can hear me. Let's talk. <laughs> you ran away with two other machines. One was a dude who desires self-fulfillment, the other a young girl passionately in love. What about you? Who are you and what do you want? Come on. Don't you have any weird character traits? How dare you? Huh? Huh? I mean, exactly. Traits? Ridiculous. Mere mortals, how dare thee speaketh out of turn about my most wondrous mission! I'm the enlightened sinner, 
I cometh to stabilize the seal and guard this place on my mentor's charge. Thou shalt leave at once. That sounds beautiful. The enlightened sinner? Stabilize the seal. Ah, I get it. <laughs> so these are delusions of grandeur. Enough! <sighs> Do you have any idea how dangerous it is to go running around in a hollow? Thou art the unreasonable ones. The seal is weak, and once it is broken, this place shall be devastated! Are you the official? Say I shall force my way through! Stop right there! Nah. -uh. My mentor, I cometh! It dies. Ben, stop him! Uh, if possible, I'd like to solve this peacefully. Yeah, come on, give it a try. I'm, I'm sorry! Great job, bro! Grace, now's our chance! I'm here. Leave it to me. Why are you shaking? <laughs> I appreciate your imagination, my child. Oh my god! But let's talk about it when we get back. Why are you doing that face? Sis! The seal is breaking. Don't undermine the most wondrous cause! Probably will boobs against the machine. That's kind of funny. Please, let's talk! Stay away! Oh, yeah, she's definitely doing it. <laughs> Turns out this guy can actually talk like a normal person. Yeah. Listen to me. I'm not lying. I hear the calling from my mentor horse. I can't fail him! <sighs> What's going on? Why is he <coughs> mentioning that name? Huh? Hold on, what's going on? Okay, what's going on? Actually... I can't even remember how long it's been since I heard his name. Horse Bellabog. Bellabog Industries, previous president, and my father. What? Kaleida, look! This is what Daddy told you about. Bellabog's first independently developed smart construction machine. This is the prototype you were talking oh, about? Oh, look at this! When were you finished building it? Oh my gosh, she's adorable! So small! Well, that'll take a whole lot of money. Damn, look how small she is. Money Daddy's company just doesn't have right now. Plus, we lack the production to build such powerful machinery. But don't worry. One day, my little girl will be riding in the machine her old man built. You know, it's not just any machine. It's got a heart your dad made in it. It'll be able to understand your commands and endure all the hollow's dangers. <sighs> wow. Here, Kaleda, give it a name. When you call out that name, it'll accomplish whatever you need it to. He, she says fighting. Um... Are you gonna see it? Dad? Dad! You promised to play with me today! Kaleida, Daddy's busy right now. Bidding on the new project, the prototype's manufacturing fee, then there's the final review at Pioneer's Memorial Plaza. One minute, I'll be done soon. Daddy promises. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Liar. Okay, what? damn. Mr. Bellabog. I'm sure you understand this will be better for all of us. Daddy. You want me to pretend like nothing happened? Are you kidding me? Just come out with it. What exactly is in there? Hello? Hello? Say something! It's like, oh, look at that money! Dad, it's so late. Where are you going? I don't want to be home alone. I want to go with you. Come on, Kaleida, stop it. There's an emergency. I have to go now. Just stay at home and be good. Daddy will be back in no time. I promise. And what happened? I tried to come to him. Just like that. He vanished. The liar. President? President? Uh, Ben, you were saying something? Yes, the commission is completed. Mr. Proxy came to collect their bamboo. Yeah, in person. I'm like, what are you guys talking about? Oh, look at this machine. <laughs> hey guys, what are you doing to the machine? Oh, want me to tits on it? I wish it was me. But no, I'm good. Anyways, call out there. I'm gonna call you present though. Hmm. We might have had some trouble along the way, but we've recovered all three machines. And with that, all the commissions Bellabog assigned you have been completed. 
We were able to get out of that tough spot. Thanks to you. Thanks again for your help, Phaethon. Grace is analyzing the machines right now. With her skills, she should be able to find the reason that... Uh... What? You got something to say? Um... The Pajajo just mentioned the name... Kyoise. There's something on my mind. When the pile driver mentioned the name Horse, you made a oh. dark face. Oh, Horse. It's a name one. Uh, oh, uh, would you look at the time? Uh, <clears throat> President, if we don't go deal with that commission fee for Mr. Proxy now, we won't be able to transfer the money tomorrow. Ben? Don't worry. It's okay. If we don't tell them, the Proxy could just look it up online. Besides, they helped us and they're trustworthy. We don't have to avoid it. Proxy, you saw Anton on that show before, right? Did the host mention years ago there was a scandal involving Bellabox president who disappeared with a bunch of money? Well, that president of Bellabog was horse. Horse Bellabog. So, yes, he was my father. The night before the old capital fell, a large sum of money suddenly disappeared from Bellabog's accounts. And the old man went missing. Pubsec investigated and said the financial burden of Bellabog, coupled with the possibility the memorial square we were building at the time might not be completed on schedule, caused Horace to embezzle the public funds and run. Bellabog Industries had an extremely hard time because of one old man's irresponsible behavior. But we're back on our feet now. Hmm. I'm glad that you you turned it to the corner. You've really been through a lot. I'm glad that you've turned the corner. Thank you. At any rate, I stopped thinking of Horse Bellabog as my father a long time ago. The Bellabog of today has nothing to do with that selfish piece of trash. Koleda, how could you talk about your own father like that? It's true a large sum of money was missing from the company's books, but no one can prove it was Uncle Horse who took it. The investigation results and the claims he absconded with the money were all just pub sex speculation. I know all the bad press brought about by public security, and losing your father hurt you. But you shouldn't resent your own father like that. You were too young to spend much time with him before he went missing to us. You don't know how wonderful you... You're the one who doesn't know anything! <sighs> uh, I think we're getting further away from just explaining to Mr. Proxy who Horse was. And Grace, weren't you and Anton working on those three machines? What are you doing here? I came over to tell you I found a clue as to why they ran off. Oh, really? Great! Mm. After examining their logic cores, I found they'd all picked up the same signal from deep within a hollow before wandering off. The signal's identification code format is the same we use in the company. When decoded, the text reads, BLG prototype. That's right, Kaleida. Unbelievable as it sounds, the signal seems to be coming from the original prototype. The prototype? The prototype? Could you explain? It was the first smart machinery made before the former president went missing. Our production line was somewhat outdated at the time, so we couldn't complete manufacturing independently. Apart from the core parts, everything else was outsourced to another manufacturer and produced according to our blueprint. Unfortunately, the old capital fell before the final delivery payment was made. Even though the machine was completed, the manufacturer was swallowed by the hollow and lost forever, along with the prototype. But it looks like the prototype is out there somewhere, and maintains some level of functionality. You may not like what I'm about to say, Sweet Pea. I know you don't want to drag up the past, but that prototype is still company property. That prototype logic core has a lot of value. So what are you gonna do? Go get it back? Or pretend it doesn't exist? Colleague hangs her head without making a sound. <clears throat> Calm down, guys. There's no need to jump to conclusions today. Even the most durable components can experience mechanical fatigue. Not to mention, we're all human. After running around in the hollow for so long, both our bodies and minds need relaxation. Now on there, Anton. Uh, Anton's right. It's getting late. Uh, you must be tired. Mr. Proxy, please, go back and rest for today. If we decide to head into the hollow to look for the prototype, we'll be sure to contact you for assistance. Yeah, sure thing. Anyways, I'm heading home, so bye-bye. Assist time home! And it's late. 
It wasn't an easy helping battle but find the three mission machine and now in this issue with the battle type. And it turns out the accident of battle happens back during the fall of the old capital. The fall of the old capital changed so many things. Yeah, the chaos back then buried so many secrets. The thing we're trying to look into is also the truth behind Kalad's dad's disappearance. I understand Kalad wants to leave the past behind, but I wonder, can people really completely cut themselves off from the past? Anyhow, if Battle decides to go to the Hollow and retrieve the prototype, I want to take the commission. What do you think, Wise? Mm-hmm, <laughs> I agree. Then let's wait for Kalad to tell us about it. It shouldn't be long now. Yeah, it shouldn't be long. Alright, I am gonna go to sleep. I'm going to bed. Ugh, what's to sleep? The prototype, Bella Heavy Energy, Kalai's father. How many people's lives were changed by the father of the old capital? Will this guy keep in the future? There was considerably, and now your mind feels compl completely clear. I wonder how things about Heavy Energy are going. Let's check it out with Bella to see if there's any updates. Any updates? Okay, before I do, I want to show you something. Let's talk with NBC. I'm too late. I should come away in the morning with one still open. Uh, no. I talked to Bamboo. And then. Wait, what? Seriously? Uh, you know, never mind. Because when NPC is like in front of this, usually it wants to, she wants to us to promote something. So now let's just go and talk to Belle. Oh, it's you! Why? Is this something you want to talk about? I know this on Belle, but have you these? Uh, another mission? I mean, yeah, let's do it. I was just about to tell you that I had to ask you for your knock knock account. He's probably message you soon. Hmm, what's the list of mission notification? Hmm? Hey, Phantom is me. Uh, yeah, Sabotage. Could this be our turn? Ah, uh, that's what it's me. It's my personal account. I'm coming to you today to tell you our person has finally made out their mind to go look for a party. You can take the commission, right? Of course. Ah, uh, great. I know you guys will be down. Dick. Uh, did Kalai and Grace make up? This time is the film is closed, so things got weird, but don't worry, they will do thick and thin together. They're definitely managed. Um, what do you think of the person person that sent me? Mr. Kalai is my prayer, and I don't believe he just think he's like going off a bunch of money. That's my answer. Everyone sometimes has to choose the path between of being misunderstood. Uh, but we got off track. In any case, we want to talk to you about finding the power type. If it's okay, could you please come and visit us in the morning? Hmm. Of course, yeah. Oh, thanks. Alright, I'm on my way. I was say he likes to meet you tomorrow more than the corner site. It's just a right? In other words, but has probably decided to go back. I'll head out tomorrow. Yeah, the hall is a dangerous place at the hall of the corner site has changes. Better get the back before something else happens. Yeah. The next month. Already? Okay. Oh, hey, are you leaving soon? Sit it up there. I got your back. Yeah, let's give you a hug and say goodbye. <laughs> Sibling moment. Alright, my people and the president, let's get going. Thanks for coming, Proxy. Bellabog Industries has decided to officially start the search for the prototype. Hmm. I'm glad you made a decision. I'm glad you made up your mind. Must have been difficult. Yes. The prototype carries important company technology. As president, I can't just leave it out there. As for finding the prototype, Grace is the expert. Sorry, but I have other things to deal with today. So, you can talk to her about it. What? Uh, pr president wait! Uh... Even though Grace's facial expression looks normal. Grace's facial expression looks normal. But she's clenching her fists as she watches Kaleida walk away. Damn! <sighs> Don't worry, Ben. The president isn't the kind of person to change her mind after making a decision. Yes, and that's enough for Sweet Pea. I'll find a way to deal with the rest of it. <sighs> okay then. Let's begin, Proxy. We'll start with the incident involving the lost smart machines. After carrying out a careful inspection, I found their logic cores were functioning properly and showed no signs of being corrupted by ether. They changed because they were receiving signals from the prototype. I'll skip the details, but the gist is the operating power of their logic cores has been improved. That is to say, the children became smarter by communicating with the prototype. But of the three, only the pile driver, Friday, received a clear instruction. He was the one yelling about having to reinforce the seal as soon as possible. Hmm. Is Friday still going on about that? Is Friday still going on about that? 
I hope he's not planning on running off again. It started listening to instructions and went back to work at the construction site once I promised to help it find its mentor, Horse. But it didn't make any sense when it was talking about the seal. Although, I did manage to figure out that the prototype needs help. I studied the data the prototype sent them. The pile driver was the first to receive it, and it got the most data. The other two children received much less information. And the content also appeared sporadically. Also, none of our other smart machines received any communications from the prototype after these first three children went missing. Uh, so the prototype's communication module is likely incapable of actively contacting other devices anymore. Exactly. Kaleida likely realizes that, and probably regrets not making a decision sooner. But she shouldn't blame herself so quickly. Proxy, our smart machines automatically send a single byte confirmation signal when the communication module receives a message. It's a simple feature and is likely still functional. If that's the case, we can have each of the three children contact the prototype and triangulate its location based on the signal it sends back. Time is of the essence, Proxy. When we're in the hollow, we'll leave the navigation and target location analysis to you. Yeah. All right, way to go. Let's get going. I'm just here. Turn devices. Master, we've seen looking at a show about a battle of energy. The end result will be updated to you since it says store space to earn up the way. It won't cause any pain. I was like a robot, but I did it anyways. Find the prototype. All right. Ugh. Damn, who's the prototype? Probably the old person who's still alive who was the president's daddy. All right, this. Go. Hello. Wise. Everyone with Bella Bog. Can you hear me? You're now in the hollow. Somewhere near the border between New Eridu and the old capital. Don't forget. Although the upcoming metro renovation project also goes through this area, public security has yet to approve any units or individuals to enter. <sighs> I never thought we'd end up back here. Uh, you've been here before? This was a thriving new development area before the fall of the old capital. The government and tops invested huge sums of money in construction. Even Bellabog was working on a big project in the area. But that's not important. We should start looking for the prototype. Right. Then let me explain the plan. First, we'll send the pile driver, boring machine, and heavy duty grappler to three fixed positions in the hollow. Once they're all in place, Grace will turn on the signal transmission function so each of the three machines receives the return signal from the prototype as a repeater. The strength of the signals forwarded by the three machines as repeaters will be different. Then we just have to look for a good location to decode the signal and find the exact coordinates of the prototype. Communication between us and the prototype mustn't be interrupted until we finish decoding the signal. Wise, the location where Grace and the pile driver are headed to is nearby. I'll take them there. You just need to join the others and deliver the other two machines to their designated places. Hello, you got it. Let's find the prototype using these three machines. Grace, take the pile driver. Leave the other two to us. I got it. Why am I tits on it? Ah, it's like, ah, the boobs are all me. Master, the path ahead is blocked by debris. Clearing is required before we may proceed to the boring machine. The. Uh. Okay. Okay. Session. Let me contact the nearby target to so clear the global. Okay. Let's let's contact Grace. Understood. Contacting the client, Grace. Please note, I will send a binary message from the HDD. This is simply a test message, and is in no way an encrypted message of profanity in reaction to your refusal to let me boss around the pile driver. Um. Consign any obstacle to its deadly demise, as you command. Why does it talk like that? Um. Is this that good? I guess that's good. It's gonna go down apparently, but nope. What about the uh, veil? I guess not yet. Can you hear me, Proxy? The search is about to begin. Let's go. I need your help gathering all the kids at the right place. You call them kids? Who do you fuck? Oh wait, never mind. Not human. <gasps> no robots. Why do you call them kids? That's kind of weird. External data installation detected. Analyzed and deployed. Transmitting message from the client, Grace. 
Hey, Proxy, I just sent you a temporary control device. You can use it to maneuver these kids. Use the device's directional controls to make the boring machine move the way you want. Our goal is to get all of them moved into position, then transmit a signal to locate the prototype. Coordinates for where the boring machine needs to go have been uploaded. By the way, the boring machine can smash through walls, but can't deal with explosives. So be gentle when piloting her. Yeah. I've uploaded the data. It's up to you now. Um. This little one has enough tonnage to detonate them. How dare you comment on a young lady's tonnage! Nice. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Ooh, I smashed him. Well, the enemy's down there. Can I deal with him first? Hey! Hey! Can I kill? No? Bullshit! <laughs> I guess I can't do that! Okay, what I will do is actually smash all the walls! Keep going. Okay. No, it's not that one. That's good. That's okay. okay it's not this one. Okay. Here we go, right? There we go! Um, Just send a normal signal, okay? Your your cum juice? Head over to the ground. But the black. Party. That's an oil, okay? You don't have any. Alright, let's go. Okay, we're gonna go this way next. Alright, now we got that done. Yeah, he's Temporary next. control device deployed. Signal transfer in progress. Nice right. job there, Proxy. We're getting more signal feedback. Okay, same task, but this time we're controlling the grappler. Grapplers are different from boring machines. Grapplers can handle explosives but can't smash through walls. So be careful. You got it. Don't tell me twice. So if I go. Ooh, what about the then? Yeah. Explode, you bitch. <laughs> yeah, that must have hurt, huh? Must be in pain. <sighs> Can I actually get? Oh, what? Okay, keep pushing forward. That's on. Edge. No. Get. Hey, you two. You can let me say something. A building. All right, let's keep pushing. Run the tail. Then go down twice, and then we're good, right? All right. The sensor now, and you're good, there. Yeah? All right, all three machines have been delivered to their designated locations. Grace, do you copy? It's time to start sending signals to the prototype. Roger that. The rest is up to you, my children. It's time to call your elder. Why are you calling your children? You gave me chili milks? But is that oil? I've got it. We're getting a message back from the boring machine. All three machines are receiving a signal from the prototype. <laughs> awesome. That's nice. What's that? What's going on? What's that noise on your end, Grace? It's nothing, just some ethereals. I'll deal with them in a minute. Oh, it seems the high frequency signal from the transmitter not only affects the prototype, but gets ethereals riled up too. No, Grace, wait! I'm detecting multiple individuals with high ether activity approaching you. I'm afraid you and the pile driver may have trouble fending them off. Stop transmitting the signal, Grace! You and the pile driver have to get out of there! Don't provoke the ethereals! No can do, Sweet Pea. Didn't the proxy say we can't let the transmission be interrupted until we decode the signal? I'm ordering you to stop transmitting immediately! We'll try again, after we've dealt with the ethereals! I'll be frank, Coleda. The prototype is sending a signal, but the time interval between replies is getting longer and longer. That means the prototype's communication module no longer has the power to send confirmation replies for every message. If we stop now, we won't get a second chance. The prototype's logic core is vital to Bellabog, so I can't give up that easily. Don't be stupid, Grace! It's not about whether you give up or not. You can't handle that many ethereals by yourself. Even without the prototype, we can still develop new tech. 
That'll have to do, Coleda. My guests have arrived. I can't greet them properly while talking to you. Wait! Don't go! Grace! Sis! Damn it! Why does nobody ever listen? Proxy, we have to go save her! My good is it Dale? Warning. High risk hostiles detected. They are rapidly approaching Grace's location. Oh boy, here we go. Not good. We have to help her. Grace! You motherfucker! Lies to the woman! My goodness. Alright. He's like, what well, hell Grace those being? I think you and and the person being stubborn. These? Oh, okay. These flying looking demons. You miss. Oh no, I broke the box! Shit, I broke the box again! Nah, that's okay, they're useless anyways. Ooh, ooh, ooh. go Ben! Hey, Josh in time! Swing so heavily! Sit on them! They smell my bell bass! Okay, now we're gonna go this way. Woohoo! Ben! And then, we'll go to you. Don't you, don't you stop. Hey, hey, hey. Excuse me. Hotan. No. Another one behind. Are you serious? Oh my goodness. He's fine. Oh, uh, right. Okay, there we go. Um, down here. Where the hell are you? I'm gonna see the off for the last part. So I'm gonna wait. Go Ben. I do. Sit on them. Hot on. President. Okay, run away. Oh, there's two of them. You gotta be joking me. Okay, this is all down. Here we go. Yeah, so high. Come on, bro. Don't stop now. Yeah. Oh, this is too. This is it. And then Ben. You almost dead. Hey, oh. Ooh! It's like it back shots! The Ethereals have all been dealt with! Grace! How's the situation? Don't worry. Communication with the prototype wasn't broken. That's not what I'm asking! I mean, are you hurt? Color was in. Snuckle tits! That's what you get! Why did you disobey a direct order from your president? You even cut communication! Even a hopeless tech geek like you must have limits to your madness! Um... You say it's for the benefit of Bellabog? If anything happened to you, even if we found the prototype, who's gonna do the research on it? Hold on, Sweet Pete. Let me explain. Oh, I don't want to hear it! Uh... <laughs> I don't know what to say. I guess calm the fuck down, President. Calm down, Kaleida. Grace's decision to cut off communication may not be commendable, but she wasn't acting recklessly. We were monitoring the situation from a distance, and she remained calm while fighting off the ethereals. It's precisely because of her that our search for the prototype hasn't failed. Grace knew the situation here. Things were urgent, and she didn't know how to explain it to you. I get it. I should have listened to what she had to say. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have made you worry. <sighs> it's over now. I'm just glad you're all right. If you guys could just be honest with each other. You two actually care about one another. If only you could just be honest with each other. Then don't be pussies. Proxy, we can move on to the next step in fighting the prototype. Right? Let's go! Mm -hmm. Grace went to great lengths to maintain that signal. We can't let her efforts go to waste! 
Yeah, okay, so is that it? Okay, we're still going actually. Yes! We have enough search data now. Oh I forgot what more to prototype. look for. Oh, we got one more to find actually. Optimizing algorithm. Okay, he's scanning. Bottom left? What was it that? Target location confirmed. What okay, go issue with us now. Wise. Your current location is the most suitable one to amplify the signal. Wait a second. Barry and I will soon have the prototype's position. Calculating coordinates. Prototype location found. Generating a map of the area. Reminder. Since there are no working cameras in the hollow, the map was generated using street camera images from many years ago based on the coordinates. I'm sending you the map Barry has created. Alright. Meanwhile... What's going on? Ah, oh, got it. Let me see. A low-res image sent by Ferry to Grace Temple on the area near the pilot before it was showing shawled up by the hollow. You can make out the strange tower in the picture. Hmm, it's not very clear. I can just about make out a strangely shaped tower. Grace, let me see that. Uh, this is. What's wrong, Ben? Is there a problem with the prototype's location? President, back then, just before the former president disappeared, Bellabog was awarded construction rights for a project in a new development area, the Pioneer's Memorial Plaza. This isn't a tower. It's a monument in the center of Memorial Plaza. What? The prototype is located in the plaza that the old man never finished? But... But why? I don't know what's going on, but looking at the picture, I have a bad feeling about it. The prototype's sudden appearance. It's like the president is trying to tell us something. Right. Didn't Friday say horse was calling it? You're overthinking it. It might have brought up the name horse, but an enlightened sinner stabilizing the seal? It's all nonsense, but... I am curious about what the prototype is doing here. We should go check it out. Yeah. No going down. Whee! Ooh, like it. <gasps> what is down on the left side? Finally! We found it! The machine. I want the machine from the cutscene. I could have this to pull it down. I'm gonna fight that thing. That is my guess. Heal us now. I need it. Need healing. We got this, and then huh? what's going on? The monument is just ahead. We're almost there. This is a pretty rough path, so watch your step. Anton, let the proxy sit on the machine. Grace, is something wrong? You're so slow. Me? Oh, I was just thinking about something. Good. If you're hurt and trying to hide it from me. You'll be in for it. Hey, sweet pea. We're family. Don't be mean. What? When I was in danger earlier, you called me sis, right? Oh! <sighs> Memories. <laughs> I haven't heard you call me that since you became the president of Bellabog. Got caught calling her sister. Really? I didn't notice. I must have yelled it without thinking. In the heat of the moment. Um... I saw the danger you were in. Facing those ethereals, and my mind went blank. I could only think of one thing. I don't want to lose another family member. That's actually sweet. You risked your life for Bellabog's future. But as president, there was nothing I could do. I haven't been a very good president. Keep saying that, and I'm going to get angry, Sweet Pea. I know better than anyone how hard you've worked these past years. You're still growing, but you work from early in the morning to late at night. Am I gonna need to be the one to tell you you're not a machine? You say you're not interested in technical stuff, but your desk is all stuffed with my well-worn technical papers, even though they're well-written. A kid your age, I don't know. Shouldn't you be reading comics or something? But compared to you, maybe it's me who's incompetent. I said that I was doing it for the future of Bellabog. But perhaps I was just trying to salvage Uncle Horse's legacy. I thought, if you could just see the prototype in person, 
you'd understand what an amazing man he was. It's sad to think someone that outstanding is rejected by his own daughter. Sis. But ever since that day you said I knew nothing, well, I noticed some clues and started connecting the dots. Koleda, have you been hiding something about Horse? I... The night Dad went missing, I saw him leave with my own two eyes. It was late at night, and I was woken up by the sound of a phone call from the living room. I came out of my room to see what was going on, and I saw him clutching this bulging bag. He was planning to leave without saying goodbye. I had a bad feeling about it, so I ran over to stop him. I asked him where he was going, but his bag was yanked open, and I saw it was filled with stacks of banknotes. I learned later, it was the money missing from Bellabog's account. I had no idea something like that happened. <laughs> yeah. After that, plus the public security report, I just can't believe in him as much as you guys do. So you suffered alone all these years? Why didn't you tell anyone? Wouldn't it have been easier to just get it out? <sighs> Who knows? I guess I thought if I said it out loud, that'd officially make him a bad person. <laughs> but you're right. I do feel better. Just promise me one thing, Sweet Pea, okay? Whatever happens in the future, we face it together. Bellabog is your home. Even without Horse, me, Anton, and Ben, we're all your family. Okay, I promise. Besides, how's that saying go? Facts aren't always the truth. Maybe Horse had another reason for leaving that day. I'm not asking you to accept my point of view, but the mystery surrounding Horse will always haunt Bellabog, so we'll keep looking for answers. Right now, our priority is finding the prototype. Let's get going. No machine is right there. Okay, walkie is right there. All right, continue. All right, inside the machine. <gasps> Why is it so big? It's color white too. Hmm, very interesting color that they chose. This is it. The Memorial Square Bellabog built back then. Look! There's a big white thing over there by the monument. The slick colors, the handsome lines. Yes, that's the prototype. You said horny for that machine, the hell? But why is it in that bizarre position? Hmm, I agree. It does look a bit unnatural. Like it's actively clamping down on the monument. Did something happen here? Ben, Anton, you guys go take a look around the monument. I'll take Grace and the proxy to take a look at the cockpit. Roger that. Uh, you just call it the cockpit like it's a penis. <sighs> you two be careful in there. The prototype has been in the hollow for so long that it may have been corrupted in some places. Don't worry. The cockpit was well sealed. It's still pretty clean inside. Huh? This... this is... No mistaking it. That's a bullet hole. That's not all, Kalita. Just look around. There are bullet holes all over the cockpit. What? What happened here? Do you got shot inside? The casings all fell inside the cockpit. So the gun was fired at close range. It looks like there was a struggle here. But with how much time has passed, it's impossible to tell if anyone was shot. There's a stack of notes on the center console. Wait, this is... Ben! Anton! Get over here! The proxy has found something! What is it, President? Look at this! That's a bill for the prototype! Not only does it have President Horse's signature, it has the date and amount on it, too. Yeah, the amount is the same as what disappeared from the company's accounts, and it matches the time of Horse's disappearance. So that means... Horse took the money to pay for the prototype manufacturing. Uh -huh. I knew a guy like Horse would never do something like running away with company funds. Horse's name can be cleared with this receipt as evidence. Uh, wait. Could it be possible Horse was the one that drove the prototype here? But why? And why did he disappear? We can't be sure about anything just yet. But with all those bullet holes in the cockpit, something terrible must have happened. The old man. My dad didn't run away of his own accord. 
but then he hasn't come back either. In all likelihood, he's already dead. Most likely, that's what I'm thinking too. He's already dead from the gunshots. I get it now. That phone call right before he left, it was just so weird. He was saying stuff like, you want me to pretend like nothing happened, and... What exactly is in there? Dad must have gotten involved in something dangerous. But what did he find? Why didn't he tell anyone before he... Don't worry, Kaleida. We'll find the answers. I just checked the prototype. The external memory unit in its logic core is intact. It must still have records from back then. I'll start analyzing the data the moment we bring the prototype back. We'll find the truth behind Horse's disappearance. That's right, President. We'll find a way. Faithen is ready to help whenever you need it, Kaleida. Everyone. Yeah. You guys are right. As President, I can't keep feeling sorry for myself. Okay. Let's get this prototype back. Don't go to fight. Over this way. Let him more. Careful. Slowly now. That's it. Steady now, steady. Uh... I'm on it. Okay, good, good, good. <laughs> Job done. Ooh, I hope something happens. Let's go. We're all finished here. Hmm. Huh? Wait, I seem to have forgotten something very important. What right. is it? The seal. My mental horse sent me a message telling me to strengthen the seal. What? But what could the seal actually be? Hmm? Huh? Is, that, is that a monster underneath there? What the fuck is that? Is that what it is? Is that what it is? Is it an ethereal? Doesn't look like one, but yet, ether levels are shockingly high. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! It, it got cake! What the fuck? What that camera angle? You've seen all sorts. What kind of monster is this? Its outward appearance is that of an ethereal, but it doesn't look like a corrupted human either. What's wrong, Wise? It says help! 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 Oh no! Hans, fight it! Come in! Their signals are gone, and ether readings are still increasing. Be careful, everyone! What is, what is going on now? Oh, what? It's huge. It absorb the machines? No. All together? Is that the seal we're dealing with? Another boss fight. Ooh, okay, let's get started. This monster's aura. I've never felt like this before. Got to be careful, Alton. That was the monument. We gotta be careful, though. Okay, just try to get what we find out. I'm trying to dodge! Why don't let me dodge? Come on, let me dodge. You missed your swing. There you go! The president got it! Yeah, he's like, that's right! You got idea! Why? We didn't do it right! Sorry, president! It's just, you're the small for us. You just call me small and tiny? Ben! Go on. Then Auton. And then, bamboo! Almost dead already! I'm gonna just like, like 10%. I'm gonna wait, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Take this! This is the end! Grand finale, President! But probably not, probably phase 2 after this. What's the drill? Not the president! <laughs> no! The president! What, what, what now? Gotta be careful! 
Phase two. President. Oh. President. Ah! She's completely covered in smoke and dust. She's fine. Our sweepy is not that delicate. Just focus on the enemy. Oh god. I'm trying to dodge. Hey, you got it. So like, there you go, bro. I did it. It's trying, it's trying to blast me. It's trying to blast me with his cockpit. Hey! Right. Let's go! Aton! And then we'll go with Grace. And then we'll go with the bamboo. Okay. He's swinging at the head. Okay, he's having dead. And he caps. But yeah, watch this! Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got it, right? Hey, you got it. Here you go. Hey, you got it, Grace. Let's go, let's go. Keep swinging it down, keep swinging it over. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Shit all over. That's like some small damage you get Oh wait, bed? Okay, Arton. Bamboo. And the end is with the grenades. Explosion. Yeah, for now. Oh my god! Dutch race? What is he? Oh my god. Oh, I thought I dodged it. I guess I did. Damn! Is he really stubborn? That's what I'm doing. Yeah. Okay, okay Aton. And then Grace. And then Bamboo. Damn! I'm not going to put a cuss at this point or I have to kill him off us. Damn, this guy's stubborn as hell! Okay, I know cussing. Damn it! If this continues, we're done for! Grace is getting hold on. Uh oh. The prototype? That's what's going on. Oh, okay. President! It took a while to get this thing moving. Leave it to me! Come on, you punk! You go, go president. president! Yeah, president! Yeah. This is like a transformer I'm doing, looking at. Oh, what's that called? Wheel steel? Is that what it's called? Moving yet? Yeah, grab your tail. Yeah. Other hand. Stab your own tail. Sweet pea! Push it just like that! Use the monument! Got it! Push it! Stab 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 it! It's just right there. It's Oh, it's trying to, it's trying to pull out. Come on, it's like corners Almost. away. Just a little more. Push it, bitch! Uh, they're in a stalemate. The prototype doesn't sound good. Sweet pea, don't force it. The tail! It's corrupting the prototype. Uh -oh. Almost! Come on! Hurry up and get moving! Oh man! Here, Kaleda. Give it a name. A picture? When you call out that name, it'll accomplish whatever you need it to. Come on. Dad, can I really believe in you again?
Oh, that's the name, okay. Don't look down on me! We're proud to be Billabong! The power of smart construction machinery! He's like, fuck you, Mache! Fuck you! Then nope, doesn't hurt. Nope, doesn't hurt. Fuck your tail. Whoa, you're trying to squeeze me now, aren't you? Stop it! Stop it! Yeah! White in the penis! Oh, wow, okay! Wow, why in the cock? Dad, you idiot. <laughs> Hope you be proud of that. <laughs> Our is... Oh, I love this guy. Okay, that's over though. If you just look inside, why don't play? Wise, look who's here. Yo, Broxy, what's up? <sighs> uh, how are you feeling, Kaleida? How are you feeling, Kaleida? Eh, don't worry. It's just a few scratches. They're almost all healed up. I kept saying I was fine, but my sister and Anton insisted I get a bunch of tests to the hospital just in case I have ether corruption. I understand why they're worried. You were in the prototype fighting that monster at close range for a long time. We don't know if it can cause any special harm to humans. <laughs> I guess you're right. Why? How does the investigation go? Speaking of which, how goes the investigation into the monster and the prototype? Oh, that's actually the reason I came. Let's start with the monster. Public security called this morning. Said they're making the necessary technical preparations to recover the monster's remains. Oh, really? That's good. The remains left by the monster are pretty unique, so I thought it'd take public security longer to deal with. Yeah, that's thanks to those two pubsick girls who came to investigate the scene. But we can't just wait around while they investigate the monster. Can I leave this thing to you, Phaethon? Hmm. A microchip bug object that Kalai gave us for a safekeeping. It looks like an issue of memory on you that has been taken from the Paul type. There could still have been some clues contained within the farm before everything with, with hoist went down. This is... This kind of chip is the external memory unit from the prototype's logic core you mentioned before, right? Right, exactly. Back then, when he found the monster was hidden in the monument, my dad must have driven the prototype there with the intention of destroying it. If that's the case, there may be some clues left within the external memory unit. But my dad used a special encryption process, so we have no way to read the data inside. I hate to ask, but can you help? There's no need to be so polite, Kaleida. Besides... We actually have our own reasons for wanting to look into the monster. We'll find a way to decrypt the data inside. Don't worry. Great. Then I'll leave the storage unit with you. I have a meeting with a supplier, so I'll be heading out. Bye, Kaleida. Good luck with the project. See you soon. I'll be waiting for some good news from you. Hmm. I feel like Kaleida's demeanor has changed since we first met her. She's becoming a more and more mature leader. It seemed like such a simple commission. I never expected it to unearth Bellbog's past and involve such a mysterious monster. Wise, didn't you say your eyes were feeling strange when that monster started emanating energy? Hmm. Um, my eyes started to feel uncomfortable. Yeah, it didn't last long, but my eyes started to feel uncomfortable. There's definitely something off about where that monster came from. It might have something to do with that thing we've been trying to learn about. Anyway. The remains were handed over to public security. We have to find a way to decipher the information on this storage unit. Hmm. Um, Fairy, can you disperse it? Fairy, since we've increased our electricity bill fivefold to keep you going, I assume you should be able to decipher it. I'd be happy to be of service, Master. However, given the need to decipher it quickly, your current system's computing power and your electricity usage requirements. I do not recommend doing it here. There is a hacker on Internaut, codename Rain, who, judging by their resume, fits your current needs. This person has also done business with Nicole from The Cunning Hairs. Rain? Oh, I've heard of her, Wise. She's a first-rate proxy when it comes to cracking encryption. So she knows Nicole. 
<laughs> that makes things easier. Nicole okay. would never miss an opportunity to use her contacts to cover her debts after all. Yeah. I'll call no one away, wise, and tell them we want to uh, explain to the sort of go to the memory unit. Is there anything else you want to talk about? Um, about Bellabog? In the series of the plot, that these other machines got pretty badly damaged when they were swallowed by the monster. But Tyler larger Chaos was also partially corrupted. Don't think Grace will give us a secret them though. Perhaps Sec uh, should return to the Bellabog machine after they recover the Masala moving. Let's hope Grace to do this anything, wise. Oh, right, our financial crisis back home. Well, the question free with Velma, this month it turns out to be a good one, but we'll still have to work with Hardy next month. So, in the meantime, tell me before you go to spend your money on Venus and Gashi, okay? Nani, you already knew? Wait, how do you know I play this? No man knew you better than I do. I bet the thing you're looking to. Back then, I thought if we became proxies, we'd get some answers soon. I know it's meant to be this difficult. Though this may be a big deal, your eyes feel really strange because of the mouse that definitely isn't a good sign. If your eyes feel uncomfortable again in the future, why stay straight away? Don't worry, I won't hide from you. Don't worry, have anyone to able to discuss. We should be able to rest for a while after this. You should go and get something to enjoy. Alright, so chapter 2 is complete. So do I just go to sleep then? I guess I do. I'm going to bed! <sighs> Lie down for a bit. Hmm, I just go for the phone for now. Huh? Like TikTok and stuff. Mm, I mean, it's nice to do here, so I'm just gonna. At the buzzing into the for a while, I'm still not feeling drowsy. Is Snake knocking on the door? Did Belly know that I'm not sleeping? Forget trying to sleep. I might as well get up and chat. Another bad matter is settled. We're set for a good while. Let's do something easy then. Manage our bills, store business, start out the free entries, etc. We can close early and watch videos at home too. Let's close shop early today. You need to take care of yourself. I wonder how much can be found in the Father's storage unit. The monster's in the moment. It is, isn't an Antonio, and it doesn't seem like a terrible corruption. Why are eyes? I can't let the bell worry. Someone is knocking on the door? Oh, the sun has come up. Okay, let's get to Gil. You must come up quickly, and now your mind feels occasionally clear. <sighs> Mr. Independent Investigator Iron Wano, Chief of the New Adult Defense Force, stage of discuss under us. I presently work with your team doing search defense. Uh, this Legend 6 and Wizards have a mission? Indeed, I trust you will understand the engineer to put into the Hollow Zero mission. To cut the chase, based on the skill you the mission, my team and I age agree that you can now allow you to join another Hollow Zero mission. A true shoulder never passes up a chance to discuss the sale, and the chance is now yours. Uh, can you give me the details? Good, that exactly the response to the Defense Force needs. In short, personally, the mission required a storage team, and the Defense Force will provide special support and supplies. I want you at the scout outpost. Um, I wonder if they can get the special supplies in the military by spending the mission. Let's head over to Scout to find out more details. Hmm, the agent story captain has an important. What? Wait, Nekamada? Wait, hold on, let me check out real quick. Hey, so. <gasps> she has a story quest? What? Okay, I need to finish up doing this one too, and then I can just get started. Okay, there are these other ones too I plan to do. If I lock them. Okay, anyways, um, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna stop it there and then do the uh, mission next for next episode. Oh, I'm gonna there. Like, subscribe, I'll see you later. Sorry, you Noah. Know.